out from your trip. Hmm? It was a long trip, huh? But it was fun. When you got to do some things. You got to see the city. The country dog got to see the city. And you had some ice cream. And you had a grilled cheese sandwich. And you got to roll in the grass. That's probably your favorite thing. No grass out here at Contentment, so she gets to roll in the grass. How fun. Did you have a good time? I'm told that Roscoe kept going in and out of the house all the time, wandering around, looking for her, not eating. He was, he was depressed because he thought he'd lost his sister. Huh. Well, she's back, Roscoe. Thought I'd give you an update on the farm here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of this had uh, lettuce and stuff planted in it we've uh and uh, spinach that uh, began to bolt so we took it out and uh i don't know if we have time to plant anything else it, it would have to be something that grows really fast like more lettuce here's a bunch of lettuce <laughs> again all this is experimental we just threw these bales together filled them with earth and threw threw random seeds in and we just thought we'd see what would grow here's a pumpkin that's uh, starting to take off. I don't know how much longer we have. This is the first week of August. And uh, so, you know, all this was planted, what, April, uh, May. But with the temperatures out here, it's really slow growing until about July when it takes off, when it gets warm enough. The problem with that is, is the tomatoes. Um, the tomatoes have a lot of fruit on them. A lot of fruit. I'll show you. See, we got we got a whole bunch there, a whole bunch there, uh, and then we got a whole bunch. I don't know if you can see it down there in the bottom, but it's all still green because of the temperatures. It got too hot, so they grew up. The temperatures got hot, and they stopped ripening, or they never ripened. Now I understand if we leave them there, the cooler temperatures coming, they might ripen out. Uh, or if they turn, begin to turn a little yellow, I can pull them off and then they'll ripen on the shelf. But, uh, yeah, we've got some cilantro here that's bolting. Uh, those are cucumbers that have taken forever to get where they're at. Months. Uh, and they're just now starting to grow out. So they got a lot of, they've got a lot of, um, blooms on them. We'll see if we get any fruit. These, this is a flower, another flower. I don't know. Like I said, we just... We, there's another flower <laughs> uh, like i said we just uh, threw some random stuff in here to see what would just to see what we could get to grow now mint which we really don't need any of uh is taken off and i guess that's a problem with mint everywhere so anyway um parsley uh what else we've got some onion and basil uh dill and uh so there's this bed um, let me move the water over here. That mint doesn't need any more water. Okay, over here, carrots grow really well out here at Contentment. So carrots are doing fine. They're starting to take off. Um, beans seem to be doing okay. Let me see the little blooms there. Uh, I can't remember. I think this is Swiss. I can't remember if it's Swiss shard or if this is a... a um, a rhubarb uh, i can't remember um i suppose i could break off a piece and taste it but i don't want to um another tomato beans and then we have three watermelon there's one there's one there's one these were all planted back in may and you can see how big they are here's my hand okay they're really not doing anything although this one is getting bigger and starting to bloom so hopefully we'll get this thing to grow out here and on the ground we can get a watermelon, although I kind of doubt it. It's just a little cool here for them. Uh, again, the pumpkins, lots of blooms and lots of, I guess, squash bugs or whatever on them. Um, but, uh, and the fruit is, eh, it's there. We'll see what happens with it. There's some lettuce looking good. This other lettuce is starting to get tough. All this was planted in May, I think it was. And we're in August here, and this is what it's produced. So stuff grows, but I mean, we're learning some things. At this elevation, we've gotta have some shade cloth, we know that. 
Um, and then early on, we also need to have some plastic sheathing uh, over the top of this to hold in heat uh, because it's just not warm enough for them without it. So, yeah, there it is. Coming along, we've got a little pumpkin coming out right there. So, that's that. So now the reason why Reba and I went to Texas was to get some solar panels. Um, these are 470 watt panels. Uh, we've got uh, 24 of them for the house, uh, which will give us 14.1 kilowatts of power. Now, and remember, we're in a mountain climate here, high elevation, we have no air conditioning. It's not like we need to run air conditioning and all kinds of stuff uh, on a passive solar uh, straw bale and adobe home. So we can get by with fewer panels than say a homeowner who's grid tied or uh, you know something like that. So um, so there. So that's what we did. Went and picked up these panels. We have a total of 30. Six of them will be dedicated to heating hot water for the house and the other 24 will be dedicated to the rest of whatever we need. When I was digging the line, the uh, water line for the well, uh, because I blew it, severed a line, and flooded the house here a while back, we had to take up the flooring, so I got some new flooring to put down uh, for the house. Is it good to be back? Hmm. Is it good to be back with brother? Look at them hanging out together. Did you miss him? No, I don't think she missed him. <laughs> Roscoe can be a bit of a pill. Oh, oh, there's birds over there. <gasps> Get them. Well, we just had a good rain yesterday, overnight. So I thought I would take advantage of the moisture, what little was left in the ground, and uh, shape up our road here a little bit, our driveway into contentment. I got about a mile and a quarter or something like that to do. And uh, this is how I do it. This gets rid of the washboarding, washboarded roads really well. Just me and Dinah and dragging that thing. And the uh, nice thing is I'm going slowly enough I can stand up see what's going on enjoy the day take me a couple hours to get done well looky here a bona fide rainstorm <laughs> complete with hail was out there tilling the road and started hailing so I unhooked the the uh, blade and hightailed it back here on Dinah as fast as I could but I was getting hit by hail sorry about the wind it's always here uh, we've got the cellar backfilled, and I've got a. I've already cut this plastic, but I got to pull it away and get it out of here and throw it away. But um, we backfilled as far as we can, because the next step will be digging trenches. You can see we just left the trench here. Got water going out here on the house pad so that we can uh, make it easier for trenching. Uh, I don't know if you can see Dinah back there, but Dinah is down, looks like for several months. <clears throat> Transmission went out, and the only place in the country that works on those transmissions uh, is in Ohio. It's going to take some time to get the transmission out of there and ship it to Ohio. Then it'll probably take weeks for them to fix it and ship it back to me. So. Uh, I actually hired a backhoe operator to come out here and finish, you know, the backfilling on this, but we'll take you down inside. Uh, okay. Inside, in the uh, cellar here, I want to, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but there's no earth right here. Sort of a, I don't know if you can hear that. Sort of a hollow sound down here where there is earth like concrete so that's good yeah 
really hard, firm. And uh, so basement has turned out well. Got a lot of stuff to do around here with earthwork. I may hire it out because I'm running out of time this season. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna turn my attention to Buzz, our mobile solar generator. That really isn't mobile, it sort of sits here. <laughs> <laughs> it could be mobile let's put it that way sort of like a, a mobile home you know uh it, you could move it but you don't uh all six of these solar modules are going to be changed out for more powerful ones that 14 means that these were manufactured in 2014 so they are nine years old and uh going on 10 years old and they are producing only about 65 percent of their rated power they're rated at 260 they're producing about 170 so time to switch them out because i cannot have uh you know inadequate panels um, not doing a proper job for the batteries in here we got to maintain the batteries properly and we can't do that if these panels are not behave and not given enough power okay so buzz's surface is looking a little bigger <laughs> A little taller it's certainly going to shade most of the top of the uh, trailer there but um, so there are the old modules here are the new modules that's much taller much taller panel um the uh this this is nice because this gives us an idea of what our permanent ground mount is going to look like when it's set this is set at 37 degrees which is our latitude it looks like i gotta pull some cardboard off of these things and uh they're hooked up let's see how they're performing well i should say four of them are hooked up these are 470 watt modules okay so any two of them in series will produce at peak uh should produce uh, uh, four, uh, 940 watts total, okay? So I have two hooked up here uh, in series, two hooked there in series. Those aren't hooked up yet, um, but will be soon. And so we'll have three strings, they're called. Here are two that form one string, another string, another string. As you can see, I have two of them hooked up, two strings coming in. For a total of 940 watts, and peak amperage on this is 10.86, almost 11 amps. So when you do this in series, you double the voltage, keep the same amperage. So we should be at peak, we should be producing, oh, between 20 and 22 uh, uh, amps. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Looks like we are at 87 and 11.5 amps, which is a total of less of 950 watts if you multiply those two numbers together. So the panels are performing better than their stated uh, rate than their rating, which you kind of should expect that of new panels. And the sun's not right on them yet. It's still well, we're about I don't know nine ten o'clock. At high noon, uh, they should be performing better. I can't hook up the last two yet because I don't have uh, all of the wires that I need for it. So we'll get those later. As soon as we get the other two hooked up, we'll do an equalization or a, you know, a conditioning on these batteries because they need it. It's been a little while. And um, so should be good to go. And so fixing the springs and the brakes has paid off once again. Went up to the mountains to uh, get some more timber to add to our collection. Maybe someday we'll get to mill it. But uh, yeah, Dumpy is uh, Dumpy's really doing great. I mean, it's an old truck. It has its issues, but man, what a tool to be able to use here on the uh, on the homestead and. Uh, so grateful to have this truck you know just about everything on this thing works now and that's what i want I'm not not so concerned with how it looks i mean it would be nice to pretty it up and 
run it in parades and things like that, but uh, you know, it works. Oh.